Okay, so let's quickly go over breakpoints in Diablo. For faster hit recovery, before we get into specific breakpoints, just like any other game, the way the breakpoints work is that at 0%, your faster hit recovery is at 11 frames. If you go to 4 and 5%, it doesn't make any difference at all. As soon as you hit 6%, it goes down to 10 frames, 13 goes down to 9. So if you go from 6 to 7, 6 to 10, it won't make any difference. But if you hit 13%, you go down to 9 frames, and it goes on like that. And you can see the hit recovery is different for every class. The link is in the description to this page, so you can go check it out yourselves. If a druid is hit by a one-handed or two-handed sword held in one hand, the FHR is different than if it's hit by any other weapon, as you can see here. Totally different breakpoints. Uh, the wolf, the bear, and the human have different breakpoints for other things, but for FHR, it looks like it's just between the wolf and the bear. From human druid, wolf druid, and bear druid, we have different tables for FCR. And for the necromancer, non-vampire actually matches the paladin exactly. And for the vampire, it's a little different. It's higher, I believe. Sorceress. So this is actually super important right here. For cold and fire, 105 is the second last. You can reach 200 and 194, but it's very, 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 very hard. Most people don't even care for it because the sacrifice is not worth it. Let's talk about faster block rate. For most classes, you're not even going to pay attention to this 99% of the time. But if you come to the Paladin, here's, here's something to pay attention to. The faster block rate with Holy Shield, it's 0% at 2 frames. With Holy Shield, you need 86 to get to 2 frames. With Holy Shield, 86 to get to 1. There's no point in actually trying to get to 86 block rate. If you're running a Paladin, you just want to get your Holy Shield, and don't even worry about it. So for increased attack speed, you'll have to visit the link in my description for the increased attack speed calculator. Because it varies per class, per item you're using, whether or not you have the Fanaticism aura, it, whether or not the item's in the left or the right hand, how much increased attack speed the item has, there's a lot of factors involved. So I can't give you an exact rundown of IIS breakpoints because it varies so much depending on the class and the weapon you're using and the actual skill you're using even to attack and the aura is available. But what we do have left is Critical Strike, Deadly Strike, Open Wounds, and Crushing Blow. So how all of these work is they scale from 1 to 100%. Crushing Blow takes a percentage of the target's health. The higher your crushing blow is, the faster you'll kill any target. It's very useful against bosses. It's useful against everything. But specifically, it doesn't matter what your tooltip damage is. If you have 100% crushing blow, you can take down bosses. So, Deadly Strike and Critical Strike work the same way. They do not stack. If you have both Critical Strike and Deadly Strike from your gear, the game is going to choose the highest of either Critical Strike and Deadly Strike and use that, and they both work in the same way. They double your damage, essentially. So the closer it is to 100, the better. So the closer it is to 100, the higher percent chance you have to double your damage. As a character, combining either Deadly Strike or Critical Strike with Crushing Blow is essential. And then we have Open Wounds, which also goes from 1 to 100. And this is preventing the monster from healing but also does damage over time in my opinion this is the least important of all of these stats you want to get crushing blow and either critical strike or deadly strike as high as possible those are the two most important breakpoints for melee critical strike usually applies to an amazon thank you guys so much for watching and stick around for more d2r prep shorts